Okay, so well, this is the last, um, like, big section of books, and I was just looking at it, and it used to be in a lot, in, like, order, and it's not in order now, because the last few, um, batches of books I ordered, I just kind of threw onto the shelf. So this is probably going to take a little while. What I'll do is talk until it gets to be in about 10 minutes, and then I'll stop and start the next video. Say hi, Gump! Gump! Say hi! Say hello, people! <laughs> So there was Gumpley, and he's going to help us. Um, God, I don't know what, where even to start on this. Okay. Totally move this, because it's in the way. So, <sighs> you have cubes, and they used to be, like, divided, and they're, I mean, sorted, and they're really not now. This is photography stuff. This is actually the encyclopedia of photography from Time Life, I think, is who put this out. Yeah, Life. And I bought it thinking it would be awesome, and I've never even opened it. And since my cousin is really into photography, I was thinking about giving her this little thing of books. But I don't know if she reads, so I might not. I don't know. An old B&H catalog. Um, if you buy camera equipment, B&H is probably the best joint to get it at. And when you first get your digital camera, Scott Kelby has a line of books out to help you learn it. He is very, um, he doesn't use great big words and like you can pretty much follow along and figure it out. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I recommend him. Um, the original Being Human TV series on DVD. Lucy sent me this. Love her, bless her heart, and it will not work in my DVD players because it came from the UK. Ugh. So I think I'm going to buy a DVD player from the UK. How sad is that? But that's how much I like that series. That's crazy, right? The next section is... It's one of my little crafting projects. We'll bump into those along the way. Um... Let me move the slide so you can see. Is that better? Um, Thomas Harris, Hannibal Rising, and Hannibal. And there was also another Hannibal over there. I didn't realize I had duplicates of that. I should probably get rid of the other one. Um, White Noise. I started reading it and quit reading it. I didn't think it was very good. Gregory Maguire's Lost. This is the dude that wrote Wicked. Everybody's going on and on about how awesome Wicked is. Um, I hope it's better than Lost was because I quit reading it. I thought it sucked. Um, this is some books. Well, I don't know where I got those at. Let's move. <coughs> the Limit I got from, uh, I want to say Simon & Schuster. Is that who published it? No, Aladdin Books. Um, it was a really good book. My only problem with it was how it ended. <laughs> but, I mean, it was a good, it was an interesting book. The author, it's a, it's a YA book. The author wrote geared toward YA readers, so it flowed, you know, really well for them. Just as a grown-up, I didn't think the ending was believable. Um, there is another copy of Michael Crichton's Timeline. Ugh, I think that's, what, it's five copies of that book now? I need to quit buying it. The Trickster was pretty good. The Ruins. I didn't think The Ruins was that good, but I watched the movie and the book is better than the movie, so maybe that says something. That says something, maybe, right? Every Dead Thing was okay. The Living Blood I haven't read. City of Falling Angels was okay. Um, the Trudeau Vector I did not read. Reliquary I read, and that is, I want to say the prequel to Relic, or it's the sequel to Relic. And Relic, um, you probably saw the Relic movie, even if you haven't read the books, but it's pretty good, and the books are better than the movies. A Wrinkle in Time, because, it's like, everybody should read The Wrinkle in Time. Um, 9, 8, and 15 from the Sweep series, which I want to read, but I don't want to read them until I get the other ones. I hate reading a series out of order. Um, it's a YA book. I guess I'm getting into YA lately, because it's quick. You can read it quick, and it doesn't stress you out or I don't know um Lisa Well The Face of Betrayal it was okay um it was scary because it was really believable and kidnapping and all of that and if you know my family's history then that makes it even more scary so I don't know a few compilations I love these books too 
anthologies and compilations are pretty awesome. Um, what else is on here? God, I need to dust so bad. Sacrifice was okay. Bluebell, I haven't read. Natural Causes was scary. Michael Palmer, he's a really good, like, um, Robin Cook. He's like, everything they write is scary because it's believable. Like, you could see it really going down that way. The Fraternity of Stone, I started reading and put it down. I didn't think it was that good. Um, Safe House, I didn't read. Haven't read that. Little Women. Uh, what's next? I'm sorry. I'm trying not to leave my books on the floor because I have assistance. Sweetie! Hey! <laughs> I have helpers. Um, okay. Uh, the next section. What do we have? Oh, Gump, get down. You're muddy. Get down. We have Aaron Durante, and I read... Which one did I read? I think I read Stones of Time, and I didn't realize it was a book two. And then I got book one, and I didn't read it because now they're out of order. And I felt like I would be bored in book one because I'd already read book two. If that makes any sense whatsoever. I'm such a strange reader. Um, where can I move these to? Okay. On this shelf, we have The Island by Peter Benchley, which is awesome. The Sword of Shinar, which is awesome. Um, In the Mountain was pretty good, but it's not for scary. It's not scary. Like, don't read it if you like scary stuff. 66 Love Letters made me cry. So don't read it if you like scary stuff. But if you want to cry, that's a good book for you. Um, the Serpent Club was okay. I would probably recommend that to people. Link. No, that's not what I'm thinking of. Is that, is that the one about the... No, no. That's a computer. It wasn't very good. It wasn't what I thought it was going to be. Oh. And then this stack of books, I bulk bought. A, a guy said cleaning out my library, have some, some books. And I was like, sure, here's $20. Send me what you got. And this was in them. So far, every book that I've read that came out of that batch was pretty good. Like Sundays with Vlad, I thought was funny. It was in that batch. Um, the Journal of Professor Abraham Van Helsing was pretty good. I mean, it was, it was weird, but it was pretty good. Um... 13 Tales of Terror, I think I bought. I don't think it was in that batch. But that's an excellent book, too. It's short stories. So you blow through it pretty quick. 13 of them, obviously. Duh. <laughs> um, we're at 8 minutes, so I'm going to have to stop in a second. Paperbacks. These must have been in that last batch I bought. I don't know whether it um, Dr. Death is scary. The Oath was okay. It's a lawyer-like cult. I don't know how to describe it to you. Another anthology. Um, The Devil's Hole was pretty good. The Narrows was good. Um, Word of Honor was good. Gone and Not Forgotten was good. Uh, Deadlock. I think I stopped reading that one. So, let's see. Obviously, it was not very good. Um, the Testament was pretty good. More Robin Cook. Man, I need to dust something fierce. Um, there's Dan Brown, Angels and Demons and the Da Vinci Code. Patricia Cornwell. Call.